Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. Just waiting to set up, so just give me a second, guys. Sorry guys, won't be long. I hope everyone's well today. So today I'm pretty much just going to be doing some, hello, hello sink. So today I'm pretty much doing um, some booster openings today. Unfortunately, I'm just nine gems shy from being able to do three of the 10 packs. So we'll see what we can do with what we've got. Yep, I'll go put, I've got to let everyone know on the server first that I've gone and done a stream. Hang on for a second. Okay, so I've got a decision to make. I can do either just simple quad packs or I can do 10 packs. Uh, Mage Anna, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. It's the first time I've seen this Pokemon. Um, so she looks pretty darn good for an EX. Okay, so I'm not really quite understanding about what, what Majana does. Um, I can see that she, she's, her ability is a soul heart. This Pokemon deals plus three damage for each one of your Pokemon that has been knocked out. This Pokemon can remove curse markers and cracked markers by 
tagging. Now, from what I understand by watching Fodder's videos is that cracked markers are caused by a Pokemon known as Scyther. I don't know about its mega form, um, but the cursed markers, as we know, are regularly caused by Pokemon such as Mimikyu. Um, and then there's a couple of out there. Uh, there's even Bay Baynet as well that has curse, such Pokemon as those. So it can remove that with its ability. Um, now, Mr. Mime, invisible wall. So opposing Pokemon cannot pass by this Pokemon, nor a continuous succession of your Pokemon adjacent to it with an MP move. Now that just sounds really interesting, although I can't really grasp it until I play it. But it seems, it seems decent. Um, the mysterious wall is pretty much the most curious of all its attacks. Psychic not so much and dodge is pretty bad. Um, the battle opponent or one opposing Pokemon adjacent to a succession of Pokemon. Adjacent to this Pokemon becomes confused. If you spin 120 damage, the whole damage thing resets. Then that would be 2 AP. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't know that one. Thank you for sharing sync. And then we've got Togi D Maru. So the battle opponent is an electric type Pokemon. The damage it deals to this Pokemon is reduced by 30. So that would be pretty incredible. It's, it's like a hyped up version of Joltik by the sounds of it. And then we've got, um, we all know Tap, and then we know Miss, uh, Mime Jr. So it's got Confusion, Mime, and Baton Pass. If one of the Pokemon neighbors is Pokemon, the two switch places. And then it has um, Mime. So all adjacent Pokemon now have weight three. This Pokemon um, may move to the bench. Kind of reminds me of um, Mewtwo's Psychic Shove, but without pushing the Pokemon all the way. So it's interesting, that one. Hello, Booms. And my music has decided to go and die on me. It doesn't want to play right now. And then we've got, um, <laughs> and then we've got uh, Tapu Fini here, which we know from the last banner. You're naughty, Booms. Um, this ability is only valid on your turn. This Pokemon can MP past non-fairy type Pokemon on the field, etc. And we all know what this Pokemon has the capability of doing. And you've got the Muddy Water and Pony Wish, which is really awesome. I'd have to see it in action sync because that just goes a bit over my head at the moment, but it seems interesting. And then we've got pretty much all the fairy Pokemon. We've got Finny, Bulu, and Primarina. I'd still love to get Primarina. I have Brioni, which is awesome. Now, Pop Polio. I haven't seen a lot of um, purples on this um, tournament just yet, so it's making it a bit, um, a little bit difficult. Then we've got um, Xerneas. I would love Xerneas. It's something I, a Pokemon I've been wanting for many, many banners, and I've never had it just yet. Um, and if it can hit Geomancy. I think it reaches about 149 damage, which is just pretty awesome. It surpasses um, uh, Abyssal Grip by Mega Gengar. And then I think the and then here we go. This is all our goody 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 stuff. Yes, I am going to be doing a, a banner free Aza. Um, so this is Mega Sizer. This Pokemon can MP move other Pokemon. On the field, if a battle opponent of this Pokemon spins an attack of 120 more damage, attach a cracked marker to the battle opponent. Your bug and type and still type Pokemon deal plus 10 damage. Hello. And my music is remixing. <laughs> and we've got Sizer. So if the battle opponent of this Pokemon spins an attack of 130 more damage, attack to attach a cracked marker to this Pokemon. I hope someone's here. 
haha <laughs> no pun intended and then we've got Mitang which is really cute this one seemed pretty good I can't believe it's got 1930 damage just for a um, little evolver and then we go on to Beldum that's a mouthful try and say that in a hurry a electromagnetic blaster I want to say that too quickly if there's an electric type Pokemon it's Pokemon plus 50 damage woohoo so that's not bad for a little um, pre-evolution form and then we go on to all the good stuff Medica Blaziken Mega Blaziken, Blaziken, uh, Magnezone, Magneton and then yep so I'm pretty much just going to start off with a 10 pack because I didn't deal with any 10 packs and I'll see what I get so here we go guys I'm going to do a 10 pack with uh, I think this is pack C Thank you. Ooh, chestnut. I've already got one. I just love to get something from this banner though. Ah, Deli Bird. Ah, they. I, I think Deli Bird could have had so much more potential. Seeking. Eagerly buff. Sorry guys, our music is just wanting to make uh, remixes of its own and it's currently um, doing DJ work. See what's in the next box. Ooh, shiny. What is it? Ooh-hoo! Tapu Lili! Yeah! <clears throat> That'd be awesome in a psychic deck. Can't go wrong with that. Now right, here we go, guys. Another rare. What have we got? We got uh, a Vaporeon. Oh no, I'm so stoked. And then we've got Turtwig. Uh, we have Quilladin. Yeah, well, not anymore now because it's got a weakness now. Oh, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! And I just bought one last banner. It's coming back to eat me. Yeah, now I've just got myself a finny. Boom, speed that one. Got hurdle jump. So there you go. I'm, I'm savoring this moment. So I've got Dally Bird, Lily, and I just, and I've already bought finny, but oh well. Oh, I've got an invisibility cape. Sweet. So there you go. All right, guys. Do you think I should stick with the C pack, or do you think that I should perhaps go for another pack? So what do you guys recommend that I do? Do you want me to continue with C pack or maybe I perhaps dabble with D? What would you guys recommend? Please. Hello Oak. Alright guys, need some help here. Please decide, do I open up with C or D packs? Okay, D pack. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Just give me a second, guys. 
Gotta crack the music up for this, crank the music up for this. So, <clears throat> here we go. Press the exchange button, that would probably help. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. So we've got an uncommon, perhaps a rare. Hey, got the cutie Belden. Cypher. Yeah, I like it too. We'll see what happens. I won't get my hopes up. Skarmory. Starts with S, but not quite what we're after. Litten. Hello. Haha, <laughs> shop it. I remember you back in the old days, how old P you were. Now Coco's taking its place. A rare. We've got Spirit Tomb. Magby. Must be saving all the good stuff for the end. Pipla, as I say, never uh, uh, a booster opening is ever a bad thing. It's, there's always a good way to fuse material with another good Pokemon. So, whatever I get, I'm not but I'm not too fast. Ah, giraffe rig. Hello. Here we go. Woohoo! Who's here? It's Gengar. My second one, or is it my third one now? Another hurdle jump. Oh, I got myself another recycle plate. I have so many recycle plates, it's not even funny. Well, I can't do another boost to open unless you guys want me to go for a quad pack or something. Yeah, I think I've got two or three now. Oh, hang on. I've got single boosters. I might go and try a couple of single boosters in, in the D-pack and see what happens. Hello Durant. <laughs> well, they say that uh, two is better than one. Oh, there you go. I don't think I got any loyalty tickets. No, I don't. That's all right. I'm just going to try and keep on playing through the cup. Now, guys, don't tear me down or anything like that. I'm having a really, really bad go with the gym. I'm either not getting the rolls, my strategy's fine, but something really happens that my rolls just go pretty much disastrously. So just bear patience with me if I end up losing multiple batches. I have eight now, sync. <coughs> so I'm just going to give this a try and see where it takes us. Thank you so much. Well, I'm happy I bought Mimikyu with some um, some of my uh, material. It was worth it. Because Mimikyu isn't part of the booster packs. That's why I wanted to check it. <laughs> I know all of you here for me, and I appreciate that. I feel the love. Yeah, I was just down below 1400 when it came down to yesterday. <clears throat> All right. 
He can come on down here because Sable I can hop over, so it's not the end of the world. And he can't counter attack me with the plate, so that's fine. Now, I'm going to just try and go with Zapdos for the first knockout and see what happens. Fortunate, so there you go, that's his shield down. I'm not planning to hop over, dude. You're fine. <laughs> I dare you, Deoxys, to go after my Pokemon. I dare you. Go for it. Oh, that was a clever tactic, dude. Good on you. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I can surround, but I'll just be safe and just put that Pokemon there because I don't know if I can surround. Hopefully I get sheer cold here. Got it. My baby here, Sewer Queen's on level 10. So she's pretty darn good. I'm just gonna go for it, fingers crossed. Bummer, I'm typing for that. The Goldie. Pretty much put Sewer Queen in my deck to act as a um, curse marker remover from my team. But the ice beam isn't too bad either. But unfortunately, I don't have a runner now to go and to clear it off from the board, but that's alright.
just gonna just try and clear out. Hopefully I might leave a status effect on to Blaziken. No. Oh, I'm not too sure who that is. Well, at least he won't get knocked out. And he just takes it as one fourth, which is cool. But I've really got to try and knock out one of these Pokemon. I'm just praying for a um for gold onto purple. No. I think if I respin, I think it goes into Thunder Charge or I know it's going to go into Roost. That'll do. Alright. Sorry, guys, it's not really my gym. I don't want to use too many double chances, but I might have to here and just hope I get the the thunder move, the thunder crash. Nice. Now I'm going to come from the right and I'm just going to just try and see if I can't just get sheer cold. I don't have any more double chances left. So fingers crossed I can get it again. There you go. Well done, Sewer Queen. Um, I'm just not... Oh, I might as well put Sewer Queen there, but I don't think she's going to stand much of a chance against Blaziken. Alright, there's one frozen Blaziken. I just gotta hope that I stave off from any um, knockouts from uh, Heat Run. I'm just gonna leave Blaziken there on the field. No, no such luck. Right, I'm gonna have to go back in here. Just in case I get um, magma slide, I'm just hoping that I just get other confused ray. Okay.
Now I'm just going to pray for my best that I can just get wild charge that's on the yeah, uh, on the gold plate, on the XP plate. Got it. Now I just gotta hope for the best. This is the problem that Mimikyu lands and I've been on the opponent's goal. So it's not ready to be knocked out just yet. So fingers crossed I can get um, Mally Mally. Hi Kyle. Just need to get Mally Mally. He has got a goal block though. So I think he's gonna either block with Blaziken or Heat Run. Okay. I'm just gonna just go here and just steal. I don't wanna be taking risks. The less Pokemon there are on the field for my opponent, the better off I am. Beautiful. All right. This may take a while, unfortunately. It would have been perfect if it stayed on Confused Ray. Um, just got to keep on moving until Sableye does its thing and knocks it out at some point. No, no luck there, unfortunately. Would have been better if it was still on Confuse. And now I've just got to hope that Sewer Queen here gets she cold. That's all I can hope for. There you go. Alright. And I think the player has forfeited. Yeah. He could have still had a chance for a comeback. Thank you. He could have definitely gone after my um, Coco. Oh yeah, but I see I could have still taken the goal. He could have gone, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was a bit of a tricky one. Because if I got Melly Melly, it would have been GG. Oh, unfortunately, I won't have to sit here and wait two minutes. No, that was definitely a rage quick oak, unfortunately, because that happened soon after. It's too quintessential. What do I get next? I'm hoping for some more gems so I can do another quad pack with you guys. Don't you love it when the screen goes black? Oh, there you go. Jigglypuff! I can even do Jigglypuff song as well, which is so funny. How much more energy I have. I've got one more for one more match. Let me just go check out the rewards. So next is cubes. Don't tell me that, I've, that all the gems have been released now. Oh, I've got to wait till 10 wins. Ugh, ages away. Well, I think I'm just going to leave it there for today, guys. And um, thanks so much for tuning in. I just don't have, I really want to do another 10 pack opening, but there's no more gems coming through for another at least five more wins all right guys thanks so much and i hope you have a great day